Well, uh, funny you should say that is the culmination of really kind of my journey. You cried so hard, you got a headache. I always had a knack for saying the right thing at the right time. And coincidence is the way that the universe says, I told you so. So sure enough, funny you should say that became my ability to connect with you with loved ones that I wasn't really sure what, what was happening, but the connection was undeniable. The coincidence was undeniable. A lot of people ask, have you had this ability since you were born? I think so. I mean, I've always done it. It's who I am. And the design of even kind of the show or even my style and how I deliver and everything else, it's the same on camera, it's the same off camera, it's the same in a show, it's the same in a personal delivery, a one-on-one -on -one delivery, a small group, it's the exact same thing. Everybody loves to laugh. And her middle name? H. Okay, I really wish it was an L because it would be a better reading. <laughs> I find that most of the people that come to this, they're looking for something. They're looking for a piece, not necessarily closure, but rather a piece of connection to remind themselves that that person is still with them, to remind themselves that, you know, just because they're gone, they're not forgotten, nor have they forgotten you. You're afraid of tattoos. Your grandmother just called you out and called you a pansy. <laughs> the comedy aspect of it just makes it very palatable. And you know, what's interesting is, is that all walks of life come to these types of shows, all walks of life. Um, you know, everyone has had some sort of loss, everyone has had some sort of challenge in their life. So they find and they resonate with a, a, a show like this because it's uplifting. It really, it really brings out the best in people. He said, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Yes. There's a lot of different mediumships out there. Just in comparison, there, it tends to be a little bit darker. I mean, for decades, it was very, you know, almost kind of, you know, headscarves and crystal balls and that sort of thing. I'm a regular guy. That part of it actually really resonates with people. It's not spooky. It's not eerie. It doesn't replace anybody's faith or anything else like that. What I'm actually doing is, is yes, on one level, it's very entertaining. On the other side of it, it's actually very healing. Every reading, there was like a little piece of something for us too, so that was kind of neat. Yeah. I just, my daughter was an infant, so I didn't think, you know, as a child, she could come through. The message to you now is that she's with you. She's with you in those trying times, and then she's also with you even today. It's crazy. He wants to remind you that the house is good where it is. It went on, it moved on. The whole family needed to hear that. Thank There's you. some healing connected to that. It really was a big decision for all of us and it weighed very heavy on us. And did we do the right thing? And I think we got that confirmation that we did. It just gives us all good peace. Is there three and then four? How many children were there? I have three. Okay, and did he have one more? He had one. Three and then four. Sometimes it's very difficult to uh, get over a, a passing of a loved one. So this may help. Yes, I was very skeptical. <laughs> Here's the message for him. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't make it good. <laughs> I brought in a camera crew and everything. <laughs> Dad, I love you, and it's not your fault. I never told you that I love you because you never took it the right way. You always thought I was trying to get something out of you. I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Yes, peace of mind knowing that he's safe with my mom. And he loves us. <laughs>